Hello, everybody. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 9th, 2020. Thank you all for your patience. I know I'm getting this up a lot later than I usually do. Wasn't feeling so hot, but I'm much better now and ready to go. So before we even dive into this, I want to thank you for subscribing if you decide that you like this content. And I thank all of you who are going back and double checking that you are still subscribed because I'm realizing I'm not the only YouTuber who has people who are saying they've been unsubscribed and they never unsubscribed. So thank you for checking that out. I really appreciate it. If you would like to take a deep dive into your personal energy, where you are, what's coming up, especially for 2021, just go to my website at angelsouls444.com. You can sign up for a personal reading. And of course, I still have uh, courses over at Gumroad. And thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. All of that information is always down below. So here are the major eruptions happening in the coming week. <laughs> like, I don't mean to make it sound like it's bad. It's not, it doesn't have to be bad, okay? It's more of a, if you've done the work, and I don't mean like in a pretentious sense of, oh, I don't let anything bother me. I just rise above. I don't give anything my energy. You know, that's either sidestepping or you're just parroting what you've heard and you think that's the right thing to say. If you're a human being having a human experience, the whole reason I believe that we're here is to go through those challenges and to see how you are processing them, not to just pretend like it doesn't bother you, okay? Or what's more that's been happening, people are diminishing of other people who have a response to a moment, right? And they do that so they seem like they're above it all, right? So we, we need to start becoming more aware of that and not just making excuses for bad behavior, right? Where we're learning to be uh, genuinely, genuinely more supportive and caring and loving towards one another and not treating one another as if we are all enemies, okay? So when I say if we've done the work, what I mean by that is if we have that true heart wisdom understanding that we're in this together, I need to work on uh, trauma or I need to work on something that is still bothering me or I need to look at why I respond that way or why do I feel the need to diminish other people so I feel more important? What is that? If we can get a little self-reflective here, guys, we can start turning things around. We are the ones creating what we see, okay? This also goes down to, I can't believe people don't believe the way I do. And so there's, yeah, the compassion <laughs> is like a big theme here. And that is having to and learning to put ourselves in another person's perspective before we just go fight them. Or before we do this, again, this diminishing thing where it's like, I can't believe you don't think like me, then you're not good enough or you're whatever, you're my enemy and so on and so forth. So it depends on kind of who you are and what you've been up to as far as what kind of week you're going to have this week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what I mean by that is, you know, as things come up, if you can go into your heart space and kind of wonder where the other person's coming from, whether that's on a personal level or on a global level, you know, where's that group thinking coming from, what might be behind that, you know, that sort of thing. And learning to keep yourself level. I've heard a lot of beautiful, beautiful comments out there. A lot of you have been saying, you know, I'm just staying really level with whatever, whatever will be, will be. And it's not worth getting upset about, you know, I feel like I'm getting um, brainwashed and, and pulled into something and, you know what I'm saying, like being controlled in that way. And so people who have learned to just kind of, okay, I'm just going to observe and see what happens. You know, that those are the kind of people that are going to keep observing <laughs> in the coming weeks and understand how to um, have that natural filtration system going on. That's not to say that you can't be passionate about something, but I mean, I've heard some like stuff where people are taking everything that's happening in the world, almost taking it personally. And it's really damaging the individual. What have we been saying? We need to treat each other like brothers and sisters and be there for one another and try to understand where the other is coming from and not get defensive and if somebody genuinely doesn't understand where you're coming from, don't treat them like they're stupid. You know what? Someone may not know what your experience is because they don't have your experience, okay? So, you know, and, and this whole, we hear people say all the time, well, I need to educate people. 
well, okay, we, how about we, how about we share? Okay. This whole, I need to educate people thing that starts getting really condescending too. You see how it doesn't work. So again, the energy of this coming week is that we're learning some really hard lessons and it comes down to how we treat one another. All right. So that's the baseline right there. From there, are we going to be seeing a lot of turnover? Uh, guys, there's going to be a shock a minute. Okay. Like, I don't know if it's exactly this week, but in time's coming, right? It's going to be a shock a minute. And so what are we going to do now? We are human. And so we might lean on our vices. Maybe we're shopping too much over here. You know, I'm, of course it's like the end of the year and I'm Christmas shopping, but you know, I'm, I'm very aware that I'm like, <laughs> you know, doing all this shopping, um, or people are leaning on alcohol or, you know, food or, or what have you, you know, we all have our vices. So, I, I think this is kind of realizing, all right, where, where is this stemming from? This is a time where people are going to be doing some deep dive work, unless you think you are someone who is above it. And then you're going to get left behind. You're just going to get left behind and you're going to start struggling even more because where we're heading, it's not going to support that kind of behavior anymore. It's not going to support the self-centered individual. It's not going to support the self-righteous person. People are going to start seeing through it and going, no, thanks. And you know what's more? I don't think too many people are going to look at people who still behave in that way and don't want to do any compassion work, who refuse to do that. No one's going to turn around and help you anymore. And if you are someone who's like, oh, I would, you should work on that. You should work on that. We have got to come past this time of codependency. We got to come past that. So what's going on this week? It's, it's the individual the individual having to shift and change and grow and come to some sort of realization, uh, self betterment. Yes. So I'm doing this. I'm 100% doing this and it's not easy. It's not easy. And, uh, it's gotta get done. <laughs> I mean, just cause we don't want to, doesn't mean we can just get away without doing it. Right. So there's that, um, there are going to be so many shakeups. It, everything that you think is set in stone is not set in stone. We got that message last week, uh, complete turnabouts. Uh, there's going to be something going off here and going off here and going off here and going off here. And what we are not going to tolerate anymore. Hmm. I feel like people who are coming from their heart and they start seeing people, if somebody's, you know, I don't know if people are starting to get violent or angry or whatever, we're, we're in that place now. I don't know how to say this. Like we're, we've kind of opened that power enough. We're not going to tolerate that. And the way to not tolerate that is to not give into it. Okay. Now remember what I said before. Oh, don't give it your energy. Don't give it. I'm not talking about sidestepping. I'm talking about when someone's like, I have a right to be angry, right? And you stand there and say, you have a right to be angry, but you don't have a right to harm other people. Start standing up to it and getting clarity. Yeah, but you just don't know. You don't understand. You don't understand. You'll see what I mean as we keep going here, right? Now I am, I swear guys, I will be doing the 2021 videos. <laughs> I was going to do those last week and you know, haven't been feeling well. So when I recover, um, I will get all those done. Hopefully I can do that in the beginning of this coming week. So, yeah, so there's that. And I, I just think that all the major it's more of the same and us just really keeping going with this evolution here. It's not going to be an overnight thing. <sighs> Change is going to be a slow turn for us and that's okay. That's okay. So what can you do this week for yourself, for joy, to spend time with your kids, to be grateful for your children that you have in your life? Can you do something creative, meditative? Can you get out into nature? You know, all that stuff that we always talk about, make time for it. Make some precious time for yourself. Okay, so let's get some cards for us. All right. Ooh, I thought I was gonna drop the cards. <laughs> I felt it going. All right. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I feel the sniffles coming. Oh dear. Okay, so we'll get through this. <laughs> we'll get through this. The first card out is believe in the impossible blue moon. So we did just have a blue moon occur, what, on the 31st? So believing in the impossible is, the impossible is imagining a world that's not where we're not being controlled, where we're not, and I don't mean surface level control, guys. I'm talking about the kind of control that you're not even aware of. I, mean, I was mentioning in one of the other videos, I'm like, you know, wouldn't it be nice to just ha be friendly and have everybody else be friendly right back? But what is the common thing? Oh, well, everybody has their own personality. People can't behave the way you want them to. I've actually heard that before. <laughs> and oh my, oh my, people having the right to be whatever they want. And I'm not saying let's all just walk around in a daze being fake friendly to one another. I'm talking more about having real heart-to-heart -heart connections and actually caring about one another. Why is that so hard? Believe in the impossible. Believe that we can be free from the systems that now have, we were discovering they just don't work. Now what that exactly looks like, I don't know because I'm a human being, I don't have context for it. But the energy behind it is, hey, good things are possible here guys. On a big scale, good things are possible. Then we have the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and Capricorn. So again, we're coming in, I have been saying, we're coming into this culmination of our self-revelation. We're becoming hopefully a little more peaceful with one another. Now, I'm sure there are going to be people acting out, doing crazy things. And that's the thing that everybody wants to uh, just kind of go attaching to and saying, look at that. Look at that. You were wrong. You said people were going to be peaceful. That's exactly right there. That's where you need to stop and go, why am I doing this? Why am I trying to poke at people? Why am I trying to attack people so that I feel better, right? What's behind that? So the end of the tough cycle has to do with us having that self-discovery, okay? And understanding why we do the things we do. Why do we react in the way that we do, all right? What do you need to release? Waning moon. It's time to release the old way. It is time to let something else open up and it this thing that wants to come into reality is a peaceful harmonious existence it's what is there it's what we're working towards and yet when we say that's impossible come on get real it's not going to happen no you don't need to tell me to get real i'm the realest person over here <laughs> like i'm always the one who's like watch some of these people out there especially the fake the spiritual people who are just super pretentious and just want to feel again important hello here we go again so we need to release that and we need to stop being enablers. You hear me say that almost every single week too. <laughs> it is what it is. All right. And then we have, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Scorpio season. Hi. Uh, it's time to release that negativity and that negative way of looking at things and, and blocking a, a more positive existence, whether it's in your personal life or globally, because we think that how it's always been is how it has to be and nothing can be further from the truth it is time for us to break through and break free so that we're good to each other we have systems in place that you know it's nice for everybody it's not you know being controlled by a few people who you know get to benefit from it all right so this week i thought i would pull out a secret garden card now these are smaller so let's just see what we have here I don't get to use these very much. <laughs> All right. All right, what do we have? We have play. All right. Among the grass and wild violets lie undisturbed little secrets to uncover. So this is asking you to take a break, I think. I, and to make sure that you're lightening up in your heart. You're going to see things happening all over. But again, we are the ones that are controlling what happens out there. So if this means you need to take a couple days off uh, from whatever your usual routine is, try to do that. Because really, when we relax into it and we don't sit here and think, oh, things have to be hard or I'm not successful. Um, things have to look a certain way or I didn't get what I wanted and I failed. You know, let the universe show you what's possible. See what potentials you have within you. You can work with Archangel Shamuel, C-H-A-M 
U-E-L is one spelling of it. Um, Archangel Shamuel can absolutely help you find some self-love, self-revelation, and reach your fullest potential. Archangel Michael can help you with that as well if you're talking about life's path and purpose. Okay, so we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Mm -hmm.